let's learn how to make offset paths for shapes and text just like this using Kittle. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is grab a vector shape from Kittle. This isn't really gonna work with all static shapes because they are a rasterized image, but what we have right here is a scalable illustration, a scalable icon. So there are a couple of different ways that we can create this offset outline effect. Now, let me show you how to do that with just outline. So I can add border weight to this illustration, to this icon, and I can go up here to the object color and I can simply just take it off. So now I'm just left with the outline or the border weight, if you will, and that's step one. Now what I can do is go to object shadow and I'm gonna click this one on the far right because it does not have any blur attached to it. So this is a preset that has no blur. And then what I can do is go over here and change my color to whatever I want. I'm gonna choose white and then I can move the offset around wherever I want it and change the angle. So I'm gonna go for something a little bit closer here, just like about right here because I want to create this kind of maybe subtle retro effect. Now if I turn this around, look at how the shadow or the outline stays in the direction of the offset I put it, which is really, really neat. That's exactly how it should be. So the, you know, your light source kind of stays consistent. So I just pasted some text in here that's currently the same color, but what I'm gonna do is add an outline, some border weight to my text. I'm gonna go through the same process. However, it is a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the color of this text, which by the way, you can add text by hitting the T button. I'm gonna go over here to the effects panel and what we're gonna do is select this first one, which is drop shadow. Okay, so similar to the same thing we did for the illustration, I'm gonna choose white, and then I'm going to make sure the blur is all the way down, okay? Because I don't want blurry drop shadow. I just want nice, sharp offset paths. And now I can do the same thing. As you can see, I'm adjusting the angle and the object path of this text. So what's also pretty neat about this is I can adjust it. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can go over here to make it more condensed or less condensed because this one is a variable font, but I could also just change the font if I want and I can change the text. So I'm going to type in sun instead, which you can't see because we only have an outline adjusted to it, but there is sun. So I just change the text just like that and my effects stay the same. Now let's look at how to do the opposite. Maybe we do want to fill color but we also still want an offset shadow or an offset path. So let's choose pink for the full color of this object. Remember, it's the same object. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure the blur is all the way down. And then for this offset, I'm gonna choose my angle and I'm gonna make this white. So same idea, same principle as what we just did. And if I turn it, the light store source stays the same, which is really, really nice. Let's do the same thing with the text. So we have the text color as yellow. I'm gonna go over here to the left. I'm gonna click shading and I'm going to give this that white color to match the pink illustration. Make sure the blur is all the way down and then I can start increasing the offset and the angle so that it makes sense with the rest of the illustration here. Now, one neat trick or one neat hack that I wanna show you is we can create some really cool effects when we start messing with the opacity of text and illustration. So here you can see I've selected the yellow, but I can go here to where it says opacity and alpha and I can slowly bring it down and it gives us this kind of screen printed effect with color over color. And I have some, you know, kind of grainy half tone texture in the background, but you can do this as well. See here with the illustration and I have some kind of darker and lighter pink mixing with the white and you can get some really cool effects with this offset path style. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.